You can use layer masks along with adjustment layers as well. So on this project here, what I'd like to do is kind of tone down this background, make it a little bit darker, including up here, so that the girl stands out better. We're going to make it a little darker, maybe reduce the saturation. So let's do that using adjustment layers. So I'm going to go over here to the adjustments panel, click on curves adjustment layer. Now this would work just as well with levels, but I prefer to use curves myself. And I'm just going to drag the middle of this curve down to darken up this area just a little bit. And then put this panel away. Now we've got this curves layer. The mask comes with an adjustment layer because the folks at Adobe figured that adjustment layers, they get masked all the time, so they put it on there for you to give you a little head start. Now you can see that the little frame is around the mask here. That means that the mask is active. So if we do some painting with our brush, it'll be on the mask and not directly on the picture. So we've got our mask. Now all we have to do is go over to our paintbrush tool and in the options bar at the top get ourselves a brush. And I think it's a good idea to know how to change the brush size with your keyboard shortcut, which is the bracket buttons. The, the brush is controlled by these swatches down here, white and black. If you paint with white, it shows the effects of this adjustment layer. If you paint with black, it hides the effects of this adjustment layer. So the adjustment layer is covering the whole thing right now. We can tell two ways. It's self-evident that it's darker and also we can see here on the mask it's all white. So I'm going to switch my foreground color in the bottom of the toolbox to black. So as I go and paint on this you can see let me make my brush a little bit bigger with my bracket buttons. You can see it's taking away the effects of that layer wherever I paint. And the great thing about it is if I make a mistake like I just did we can go over here to the little color swatches, switch them with this little tiny curved arrow, or use your keyboard shortcut, which is the X button on your keyboard, and go in here, paint this thing so that the parts that we want to show are showing and the parts we don't aren't. So now the net effect of this layer is, you can look at the mask, it's masked out on the model, but the whole rest of it is affected by this layer. If I turn the layer on and off right here, you can see that. So I've got that mask. Now, the other thing we wanted to do was to take this background and kind of reduce the saturation of it a little bit so that our model stands out better. So I'm going to go back to the adjustments panel and click on the saturation adjustment layer and then just reduce the saturation a good bit. There we go. So that adds this layer. Now here's the cool thing about this. We already painted in this girl on this other mask. So what we could do, since this mask needs to be exactly the same thing, we could drag this mask right on top of the hue and saturation layer and it'll replace it but there's a problem. It took it away from the curves. So let me undo this and I'll show you what to do. You might say you have the alternative of making a copy. Now if you're on the Windows machine, you hold down the Alt button before you drag the mask. If you're on Win or if you're on Macintosh rather, it's the Option button. And for you Mac people, Alt and Option are both the same button. So if you hear me talk about Alt, it means option as well. So let me just review that. Hold down the Alt or Option, drag the mask on top of where you want it, it'll ask you if you're sure, and it makes a copy of it. So now this mask also has a mask, or this layer also has a mask rather. If we wanted to we could go in here and do some further painting with black bring back the saturation on the motorcycle back here, or even perhaps on the curves layer, 
can bring back some of the details in this by not darkening it, by masking it out. So we started off with this picture here and made this out of it, just using two very simple adjustment layers with masks. So you've got a lot of control over your pictures now, and the best thing about it is these masks are changeable. So if you made a mistake, you just click on that mask, paint the parts in that you missed or wherever there was a mistake, there's nothing to it. It's just that easy, and I hope you have a great time with it.